У нас одна протекает сверху, где. Да. У нас одна протекает сверху, где. The war in Ukraine overturned the myth created by Russia about T-14 Armata tanks. Russia's Soviet-era main battle tanks, such as T-55s, T-62s, T-72s, T-80s and T-90s, have been decimated by Western-supplied anti-tank weaponry during the Ukraine invasion. The national interest media outlet said this. It is noted that the deployment of the latest T-14 Armata tanks was short-lived with claims they were too valuable for continued use. Despite the Kremlin's claims of the T-14's superiority, recent reports suggest that upgraded versions are being developed, but economic constraints and international sanctions cast doubt on these plans. The T-14, first introduced in 2015, boasts advanced features like an unmanned turret, and high survivability but has yet to prove effective on the battlefield. If the T-14 series was as robust as the Kremlin would like to purport, more of these tanks would still be deployed in the war considering the state of Russia's rapidly dwindling main battle tanks arsenal. According to a recent report published in the Bulgarian military, Rostec is allegedly making strides in incorporating several upgrades into the Armata platform. The report suggests that an upgraded T-14 tank design is being developed with a more powerful 152mm barrel and a stealthier turret which can fire ammunition over a meter long. This includes advanced high explosive and thermobaric projectiles with remote detonation and powerful armor piercing finned projectiles with a core length of 1024mm made by Rosatom. The new 152mm caliber BOPS is made from very strong and heavy materials, possibly including depleted uranium. Its effective range is around 5 kilometers. Considering the current state of Russia's economy and manufacturing output, however, these new and improved Armata plans appear murky at best. Since the invasion commenced back in February 2022, sweeping international sanctions imposed on Moscow have sharply impacted the country's financial growth. The Kremlin has also poured so many resources in the war over the last two and a half years and is unable to maintain additional output across the board. If the T-14 series was not superior enough to remain on the front lines of the conflict last spring, it seems unlikely that Russia would pour its limited resources into developing a new variant.